Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, it's kind of interesting because uh, it's uh, you know things that we don't really think about, um, and it reminds me of the Y2K problem um, when we uh, turned to the new millennium in 1999 to 2000. Of course, there was this craze of the Y2K bug where clocks, you know, PCs were not made to actually display. Uh, in dates that uh, were for the year 2000. And, uh, well, Google is facing something similar with its browser. So as we move forward, uh, this week we had, of course, an update to the browser. Uh, right now, the uh, Google Chrome browser for pretty much everybody is at version 94, although the Canary browser, the test browser that they're having, is at 96, soon to be 97. And they're thinking about the effect that this could have on websites when it's going to move to version 100. And the reason why is that, of course, a lot of websites, and most websites actually, look at what browser you are using. And so when you visit a website, they know you're using Chrome or Edge or whatever browser by you know, just asking the browser itself, who are you? And, um, of course, the version number is part of what they look at. So that's why a website sometimes tells you, well, you know, you're not using the most recent browser. You might not have, you know, you might have problems uh, on this website. It's because they can see that, uh, what version you are using, actually. Now, that routine that checks what version, um, a lot of websites, it seems, might not be ready for version 100 because... The routine that checks the version is made for two digits. And 100 will actually change to three digits. So Google has started testing some of this with um, a experimental Chrome browser that does display the fact that it's version 100. So it's kind of interesting to see that, you know, things we don't think about that happen on the web and that can happen depending on the software we use. You know, so many things can actually interact and go wrong when a simple thing like a version number isn't right. Um, and this is an example of how complex the environment around us and the environment of computing is. Uh, simple little numbers, simple little version numbers, and uh, it can create uh, all sorts of problems. So, of course, if there are some problems, they'll know in advance, and also that would mean that most websites need to get ready for that big one zero zero, and uh, this is not just going to affect Chrome, because for example, if we look at uh, the Dev Channel build here that I have for Edge, um, this is actually right now at uh, version ninety five. We're going to go into version ninety six next week. This also will affect Edge because Edge is also going to get into the 100 version. That means that Edge also will need to have the proper, um, you know, version numbers and proper routines on websites to make sure that these version numbers work well on uh, their uh, on their website. So uh, kind of interesting to see this and how the impact of of all of this on. Um, the uh, web browsing. It's a simple thing, just a version number. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.